if her chin and her eyes are the center line, then her nose would be right here and the mouth would be more in this area. She's got three fingers and you know, that's a stylistic choice, but unless it's Mickey Mouse, unless it's super mega simplistic, then always do five fingers. That's my recommendation. It's five fingers or bust, all right? So I'm gonna start with liquefying this whole thing and I'm gonna bring the, the head up. So the chin would run down a bit here and I'm gonna actually move the mouth in just a little bit. Her eyes aren't quite looking in the same direction, but I'd rather her connect with the camera I don't want to add random folds anywhere. I want all these folds to be intentional and to have purpose. Same with these horns. It's treated like an outline. It's treated like the line art. So because you have half tone everywhere else, I'm going to throw in some half tone here. And I think that'll be enough to give it a little bit of dimension. So this is a little bit of the before and after. I think we have a lot more intentional shapes. I think her face is a lot more clear. 